I think there was one thing that I thought of earlier that um, I'd like to uh, to stress, which is that oftentimes, you know, when we were talking about how it can feel so difficult sometimes to, um, uh, there's this author, her name's Mel Robbins. She writes about um, why why do we not do things that we know are good for us? Um, and I and after like reading her and obviously in my experience of 20 years in mental health, you know, I've just basically decided that our brain lies to us. Um, when, and and so when we it, it wants to be comfortable and oftentimes it will um, tell you that laying in bed uh, not socializing with anybody in your family that you know not getting up and eating proper foods and not taking care of yourself is safer it'll you know it, yep. then doing those other things right and that that's that's well that's the anxiety and depression you know that's that's telling the lies in that moment and so that's where we have to to take the coping skills that we've learned and so whether you know maybe it's keeping a notebook by your bed or a little journal or something where you write down things that you know have helped you before um and when you feel like that you got to go to that list and then you got to act on it right and so one of the things that she pro um pro puts out is doing five four three two one and then just acting on it because if no. we give ourselves any time we will hesitate and hesitation is not our friend because as soon as we hesitate then the brain will convince you that staying in bed is better than getting up and doing yoga right or getting up and going and eating breakfast whatever it might be it'll 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 lie to you and it'll convince you um because it's kind of running amok so this is um you might have heard of that term like cognitive behavioral therapy so we have to control our thoughts or our thoughts will control us